gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Straight From The Soul. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys what I caught from Japan. Everything I bought personally just for myself, from Supreme shops, from bathing ape shops, all the way to Disneyland. Let's start. I have a massive suitcase just right here, as you guys probably can see just a bit of it. It's full of stuff, and I'm just gonna randomly pick things out one by one and go from there. First thing on my list is my favorite new bag. Look at this cute ass bag. It is a Mickey Mouse head, like this. It opens like so, and you can put stuff inside it. You get it from the Disneyland place, and you get popcorn filled up with it, but I just bought it as a carry bag. You guys gonna probably think it's weird, but I personally love Mickey Mouse, so I must cop this. Another Disneyland thing, Mickey Mouse ears with the cool wizard top. More from the Disneyland store. A stitch keyring. Something that was a must for me to go to was the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. And it was really, really crazy. I ended up purchasing only one thing from there, which are these pins. Let's get to the good stuff now. In Japan, they all have these cool umbrella things and I took one and brought it home. So what it is, in, a, in Japan, every store has an umbrella case thingy that you put your umbrellas in and this one was super cool, so I asked them if I could take one home and they let me. I went to the BBC store and copped one t-shirt. The only t-shirt that I liked was this t-shirt right here. It is a Billionaire's Boy Tokyo Limited Edition top. It just has the normal logo at the front, but it says Tokyo. And on the back, it just has a number. And it says Tokyo BBC. A bathing egg cop. This is part of their traveler's kit. It has three different size old bags in it, a small, medium, and large. And it's used just for you to carry junk in it, I assume. It's a good accessory piece. A t-shirt that I copped from Bathing Ape. This top is a denim top. It has the original Bathing Ape logo, as you guys can see. It feels really cool. It's like a denim material with a light denim wash style print on it, just on the front. Next is from Tokyo Nike. Look at this cool top. As if I didn't get this. It's a very basic t-shirt. It just says Tokyo at the front with the jump man. And in the back of the Tokyo sign, the print, it has the elephant print on it as well. Another store I had to check out was H&M. H&M everywhere is sort of different, but in Asia it had this top. Look at this dope ass Marvin the Martian top. It says Looney Tunes on the sleeve, on the back it says that's all folks and at the front obviously it has a big ass Marvin the Martian print. Another, not a bait pickup, but an A8 pickup. Look at this big ass bag. Compare this to my body. It's huge. This is an awesome, awesome jacket. Jacket reminds me of the range jacket. The material of it is a really like waterproof sort of material. As you guys can see, it has the eight logo at the front. It's a really nice long jacket. Attention to detail is beautiful on this. I thought this was an awesome cop. Next on the list. Let's see. I'm not even gonna look. Bam! What is this? Another bag t-shirt. Bag college top, it has the bathing ape in a blue and white blue camo. Next on the list is another bag top. As you guys can see, striped bag top, with the college print. Pretty simple, I like this one because it's a long sleeve and it's something different to the, all the other ones that I do already have. Bam! Bathing ape magazine. These are sold everywhere in Tokyo. Literally, it's just a bathing ape magazine. It tells you what's the summer collection. And the good thing about this one, it comes with a free tote bag inside. It's a leather tote bag, it's about yay big. If you guys watched our vlogs, you'd see that I caught this. I'll open it up. It's already used because I was using it. I just wanted to show you guys the packaging that it comes in. It's this wallet. Very simple, 
Nice. This is my favorite color that Vaping Ape comes in, this purple camo. This is what made me fall in love with Vape. This color is insane. As you guys can see, the packaging is on point. The attention to detail on this wallet is insane. Let's keep going. This is actually really, really cool. If you guys know and watch our vlogs, my refrigerator is full of magnets on places that I have been to. This is a must get magnet for me because my girlfriend loves Hello Kitty. Bam. Look at that. As if that's not something you want to get. A Hello Kitty Ninja. Next on the list is this. Bam. The Felix the Cat and Baby Marlow collab pins. I'm starting to dig my pins and I'm going to start putting them on random things. But this was a must get for me because as a child, I love Felix the Cat. Here we go again with another set of pins. These ones are just the original Baby Ape pin. It has the Ape Shall Never Kill Ape logo pin. It has a Planet of the Apes head, the normal college, and a camo print pin. Also from the BBC shop, I caught this. A set of pins, gold pins. It has the Billionaire Boys Club logo. It has the space head, the ice cream logos as well. I thought they were really, really dope. Another set of pins. I'm really digging my pins, really. I bought nothing but pins and badges, really. These pins are the fake logo, a busy worst one, a vape head, another Planet of the Apes head. Let's keep on going because this luggage does not stop right now. This is a vaping a coin purse. It's made out of plastic. It's just a vape head and you hang it off your keys or whatnot. And it fits about, I'm not even going to exaggerate, maybe five to ten coins. So you can't carry that much in it, but it is a good accessory. Another accessory that I bought, a BBC and ice cream, sort of like a stress ball thing. You can squeeze it like so. It has the ice cream skull head at the front and has the ice cream logo on the back. It just hangs off your keys. Next on the list, and of course, another accessory. The Supreme Seahorse Keychain. I thought this was different. I liked it. I don't like a lot of Supreme stuff, to be honest. But attention to detail of this was insane. Bam. Whole bunch of ninja stars, two ninja star keychains, a broken samurai sword, and a katana that comes, like hangs off your keys. If you guys are wondering why I bought a lot of accessories, most of it is gifts. One of the most favorite things that I bought when I was in Japan is patches. As you guys know that I own my own label, I own my own clothing label, and I just want to make a Japanese inspired jacket. Over there, the varsity jackets, the nice soft like silk varsity jackets is really, really in at the moment. And there was none of them that I really, really liked. So what I decided to do is I bought patches and I'll show you these patches. One is, is a, a hand, a hana, hand. One is a hanya skull or head, as you guys know. One is a samurai head, looks really, really cool. The last one is a old school Japanese flag. I think it's really, really cool because it just reminds me of JDM cars and everyone used to paint these like on their bonnets or underneath their bonnets. Another pin. This one's really cool because one of my favorite songs and when I was in Japan, Alan Iverson was inducted to the Hall of Fame. One of my favorite songs, Post Malone, White Iverson. This bag makes total sense. Philadelphia logo and it says sourcing. How cool is that? So dope. I showed you guys a lot of accessories and a lot of clothes. I didn't buy a lot of shoes over there because a lot of the shoes you can just get in Australia. But there was two pairs of shoes that I saw that I know you can't get in Australia yet. You probably could make it on Nike ID, the one that I did. I'm going to show you guys what I bought at Atmos. Let's go. Ready guys? One. Two, three, bam. All black sock darts. I really love my sock dart, my red one, but these were super cheap. They were 140,000 yen, so about $180 Australian. Could not say no to this. It is a beautiful shoe and easy to wear, so. Also from the Atmos store, I picked up a pin. As you guys can see, it says Atmos Lab Tokyo. This is probably like the 10th pin that I've showed you guys, but this was a must-have one. Last but not least, you guys don't understand. I went to Japan 
because one of the top 10 things to do in my life, on my bucket list, you guys might think this is, wow, this is not such a great thing to do. But I grew up 10 years strong, loving bathing aid. A must have thing for me was babesters. Babesters are so hard to get. Like I know you guys can probably just proxy it or get it from another side and pay resale. But I personally wanted to have the feeling knowing that I went to a vape store in Japan and bought it myself. Babesters. I went to every single vape store looking for these. They didn't have my size anywhere else except the very last vape store. Needs exploding music, fire, everything. These are fire. Fire! This is my childhood in my hands. This is what I like grew up loving and now I can't believe I have a pair of bases that I went and bought for myself. I didn't buy it off anyone, I didn't buy it off a Facebook group, didn't buy it off eBay, proxy webs, none of that. I walked into the store, tried it on, walked out with them. I know that's a a stupid dream, but that is one of my dreams coming true. Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed what I caught personally for myself in the land of Japan. If you guys haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and put a subscribe button here. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment below and I will reply to any personal comments that you guys or questions you guys have. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time from Straight From The Soul. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It looks like this. If you guys don't know what it looks like. The subscribe button will be under here, anywhere around here. Just click anywhere around here. And if you haven't watched our previous video, our vi previous video will be over here. I brought this because I wore this when we DJed in Tokyo, Japan. I think this is really cool. The material is so thick and so nice. 